You're watching Press TV's Top 5. We're coming to you live from our headquarters in Tehran. Many thanks for joining us this hour. Now, Daesh Takfiri terrorists are suffering heavy blows as the Iraqi army fights against them in the western province of Ambar. Terrorists have fled the provincial capital, Ramadi, and the city is almost liberated. But it's not the end of the story as the Iraqi forces, backed by local fighters, are engaged in fierce fighting with the terrorists in another region of Ambar's province. Press TV's Altaf Ahmed has more. The only way to get to the Iraqi city of Haditha is to fly there. The city has been under siege for almost two years now. It lays around 200 kilometers northwest of Baghdad, 140 kilometers northwest of Umbar province's capital, Ramadi. Less than 10 days after their collapse in Ramadi, Darsh Milton's tried to make a comeback in Haditha. For almost two years now, the clans in Haditha have been fighting on the front lines shoulder to shoulder with the Iraqi forces. We are well aware of the agenda the Takfiris are pushing for and the division they want to create. On January 5th, the Takfiris spearheaded an all-out offensive on Haditha. Press TV camera went into the region of Al-Khasfa, west of the city. One of the regions Daesh broke into Haditha through. The district of Haditha has long been seen as a very strategic and symbolic region, namely because it lies on the crossroads of the supply routes of Daesh's supply routes, which stretch all the way from Iraq's northern province of Nineveh to the central province of Salah Hadin, all the way to the western province of Ambar. As you can see behind me, Daesh militants have ramped up their attacks on regions northwest of uh, Ambar province, namely after their defeat in Ramadi. Iraqi commanders and clansmen tell Press TV. Darsh Meltons used up to 80 explosive rigged vehicles, many of them armored, in their most recent attack. Daesh has no supportive environment in Aditha, and this is one of the main reasons why Daesh failed to capture our town. The clans and families here are very united and supportive of the Iraqi forces. We have chosen either to live with dignity or to die with honor. After three days of fierce battles, the tribesmen and the Iraqi forces dealt a heavy blow to the Takfiris, killing at least 100 of them. The battle was costly for the Sunni clans here as well. They say they lost no less than 20 of their kin, and 50 others were injured. They still insist, however, Daesh will never have foothold in Haditha. Altaf Ahmad Press TV, Haditha, northwest of Umbar.